in all throughout this country, especially in the South, if a starving person breaks into your home with the express purpose of stealing food because they are starving, you have the right to use force, and in the South, especially deadly force, because that person broke into your home to feed themselves, okay? Like, that being said, if you ask them to leave, it's not optional. So, that being said, why is it that we have to beg and plead and write letters and etc. to people that are destroying the earth, poisoning our water, and inadvertently murdering our children with torturous diseases, instead of doing what our, not our, but the very, very violent forefathers would have done if someone encroached upon their property? Like, why do we have to I, just go I, through those channels? I, I myself would advocate only things that are strictly nonviolent. But at the same time, I think you have to include civil disobedience in that equation moving forward. The classic formula that had success in the women's rights movement, in the civil rights movement, and getting you know, the British out of India and children out of the workplace, which is awareness, like tonight, legislation, like you've seen, massive protest, and civil disobedience. That's all, that's it. That's, that's what every social movement has done in the last, I don't know, forever. I think it was Monday when you were in Albany. Uh, I'm not sure you were able to stay around, but there was a very young coalition of people, probably 500 young college students or even high school students, and they went into the Capitol. Did you know that? I saw the they video. They walked through the rotunda of the Capitol and just started to protest, and it was amazing. They've, they're, they've said they've had it. They don't want us to poison their water. It was a wonderful display of the next generation standing up for their rights. And they went through that Capitol and they just knocked on every door and were protesting in the halls. And, and um, it was quite a wonderful scene. And they're prepared to continue to do it and the coalition is getting bigger.